The Manic Street Preachers and Show Me the Wonder. And I'm delighted to say uh, that uh, Nicky Ward joins me now. Hello, Nicky. Yeah, all right. Are hey, you all right? Sorry. Are you in the studio, Nick? Yeah, I'm trying to learn all these songs. Oh, yeah. How's it, how's it going? <laughs> it's like cramming for my <laughs> A-levels. <and stuff>. <laughs> <laughs> of course, because you're going you're gonna to be playing um, a lot of shows soon, aren't you? What? Yeah, no, we've got lots coming up, and, you know, just... The, the album was quite fractured to record. It's very rare that we sort of sat in a room together. We were, it was a bit all over the shop, so okay. uh, just came, came back to came back to looking each other in the face. Yeah, seeing the whites of each other's eyes. Yeah, yeah realising how old we look, except Sean, what? who looks about 22. <laughs> no, I've been looking at... The picture that's going around on the website, you all seem to be looking very slender and sylph-like. Have you all been working out? No, I just stopped eating, but, yeah. Did you? <laughs> no, uh, we yeah, no, we're looking all right, actually. Yeah. So it's all coming together nicely. Totally are. So, and I'm really looking forward to seeing you play these, uh, well, there's a couple of shows we'll talk about in a minute I'm really looking forward to. But yeah. tell us about tell us about the record, because what you'll first, what I, everybody will first notice about it, is uh, it's pretty much acoustic. There's hardly an electric guitar on there, isn't there? I think there's one guitar solo on um, Three Ways to See Despair, which is a beautiful solo, yeah. but apart from that, you know, I guess our signature... You know, something to many people, you know, James's guitar and yeah. big string sections, and that's just not on there. There's loads of acoustic. You know, it's hard just practicing together. We don't really need to amp each other up. It's just, yeah. you know, playing very gently together, which is, you know, after 22 years of, of doing it or whatever, it's quite hard for us. So, was that deliberate? Did you deliberately set out to make the record like that? Yeah, I think the, uh, the last year or so when we were writing and writing, we realised that one record was very sort of, you know, post-punk European and one was very delicate and very intimate and mm. pretty honest. So they, it was a natural um, part in other ways, really. Yeah. And, um, and then we pushed on with the concept. Then every time James got his electric guitar out, me and Sean would shout at him, no, 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 <laughs> right away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, the, but, the, but there's a whole other record which sounds different, yeah. Yeah, the other one is very different. It's very kind of early Simple Minds, plus bits of the Holy Bible, very uh -huh. jagged, very nasty. This is the kind of the sweet melancholic one, and the other one is the, yeah. is the nasty one. Well, it is, mel it is melancholic. I've been sort of living with it for a, a, a day or two, and I love yeah. it. And it's very reflective, very ruminative. I mean, it seems to be, but I mean, you seem to be addressing all kinds of things. The passing of time, looking back, would you agree? Is it a sort of reflective record from that point of view? Yeah, I think maybe Postcards was more a celebration of nostalgia, but this is much more a kind of looking in the mirror and realising it's, you know, it's all about mortality. It's the mm. kind of loss of, of life, but also of questioning the band and its principles and ideals and where we are and where we've got and, you know, are the things we believe in still relevant, you know, as a band, really. Yeah. Um, so, they, yeah, it's some, some deep themes in there. And what's your conclusion then? Are they still relevant? I'm not sure if they are. I think, you know, it might be just time to give, up, give no. in on it and, and um, just do things that everyone else does, really. It, it is, you know, I've realised today that I think it's 22 years since uh, Stay Beautiful went top 40, our first top 40 hit. Yeah. I mean, that's my life ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you, you know, I think we did readdress ourselves as a band and just thought, it's, you know, should we kind of open up a little bit? But the, the, when you said do the things other people do, that sounds, you know, worrying. Like saying, when what, I mean, one of the things, one of the many reasons I love the Manic Street Preachers is they don't do the things other people do. So, what, I mean, what kind of things do you mean, Nick? I don't know. Doing encores. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Know, yeah. That might help. Um, licensing all our songs to adverts and sync. Right. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I'm well. not saying we will, but I'm just saying that the sort of landscape of everything has changed so dramatically. I'm just wondering if, you know, we, we wonder if we're holding on to principles that are utterly irrelevant anymore, I guess. Well, And I think we're going to do it. Uh, it's just the kind of questions in our head and, yeah. and mixed with mortality and realising we, we're the grown-ups now. Um, yeah. Yes. It's a heady mix of happiness yeah. and joy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, and you're going to... and. Uh, I mean, there's a track I'm going to play in a moment, Rewind the Film, the long version of yeah. this. this. And this, is, this comes with an, a beautiful film as well, doesn't it? The, uh, which, yeah. is, which is very, which is, well, tell us what happens in, the, you tell me, it's in the, where, where was it filmed? Well, Kieran, um, who did the video and the video for Show Me the Wonder, which they go together because yeah. the Rewind the Film, it was all done in the, in the South Wales Valleys and um, just kind of... A melancholic dereliction, I guess. Yeah. Um, and then the second video for Show Me the One that transports you back to the heady days of yeah. a truly brilliant night out. And um, it just looks gorgeous. I mean, it's 
Kieran's done a fantastic job. Yeah. He's from Wales himself, and I think he got into the psyche of the whole thing. Yeah. And um, it's all topped off by, you know, the majestic voice of uh, Mr. Richard Hawley crooning over the top there. Absolutely. You know, uh, Absolutely. Which is, it's a brilliant mixture, actually, James. Um, James, I sang it originally. I came up with a vocal line for right. uh, uh, Richard Hawley's part. I didn't want to sing it at all. It's just I was listening to a David Axelrod, Axelrod instrumental, and I started singing over the top of it. Yeah. Um, so then we re-recorded all of David Axelrod's bit, right. <laughs> which was really hard. So we re-recorded the whole thing, and then uh, got Richard Hawley to sing over the top, and then Jim's and Sean added their bit as well. So it's quite a complex song. And this was all, you, and you, but you, you've done, you've done all. You must have spent the last few months in the studio. Is that right? Yeah, we've, we've been in here for about 18 months on and off, really, now. You know, a mixture of of, of uh, our studio, Rockville, and, and Hans are in Berlin as well. Yeah. Recording the other album. <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> but we like to work, you know. Our, our brains diverge as we get older, so it's good to have different stimulants going at the same time. It's, it's, how, how important... Are you, are, are you all back in Wales now? Sean's not, is he? Right. Sean's in Bristol, um, yeah. but yeah, me and Jim's. I mean, I've never left. I'm never, a, no. I'd still be living with my mum if I could. <laughs> <laughs> if I hadn't grown so tall. <laughs> it was purely a matter of size you had to leave, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, my dad's tall and my brother's tall, so it, we had to get... <laughs> but you, I mean, that would be, I'm being kind of flippant, but place is incredibly important in what the Manics do, isn't it? It is, and I think um, not just where we're from. I mean, that, that centres me, and it's, it's a great grounding, but I think travel has become such an inspiration. Yeah. Um, you know, and it can be this... I think the second album in particular is really reflective of the idea that everywhere's got a story. Yeah. You know, and same with this album, maybe something small like the Manabia Castle or Tokyo. There's a track called I Miss the Tokyo Which Skyline. Is beautiful, yeah. Yeah, and um, the, the next album's even more about that. I just... It's so inspiring just to sit, you know, visit a city, yeah. get your notepad out. Yeah. And I just find words flow from that yeah. really easily. Yeah, yeah. Um, festival number six, I'm really looking forward to seeing you there. Yes. Which will be yeah. fantastic. Yeah. We're trying to get a brass section, because, you, uh, you know, if you've heard the album, yeah. there's a lot of brass as well. So, yeah. um, and hopefully um, Mr. Hawley will join us there as well. Oh, ace. And also, you're doing the Ritz in Manchester, aren't you? Yeah, we are. That's going to be incredible. I think we've played every venue in Manchester, right, you know, from, from small ones to the, to, to, uh, to the arena, but I, we've never done the Ritz, and every, everybody tells me it's a classic band. Oh, it's, it, that's going to be amazing. I saw Chic there just recently, and, you know... It's oh, brilliant. The, and, uh, no, it's going to be fantastic, so I can't wait to, to see and you Chic's there. at festival number six as well. <laughs> Absolutely. So, um, it's a terrific record, and it's lovely to talk Thank to you. Thank you very much. And hopefully I'll see you before too long. Yeah, no, I'll see you soon, Stuart. And we're going to play Rewind the Film now. Cheers, brilliant. Nick. Bye. Thanks a lot. Bye.